<sighs> Hello. Uh, what I'm about to read to you are scriptures from the Quran that I feel demolish the Quran because contrary to what Muslims say about the Bible being corrupted, the Quran says it confirms and reminds that which went before it. In other words, it confirms and reminds what the Bible says. And I thought I would um, read those scriptures to you and see what you think. I got this from uh, The Light Shines in the Darkness, the Bible according to the Quran. I don't know who wrote this, but it's uh, it's powerful. Very powerful. It, to me, it demolishes the Quran. Using the very Quranic scriptures to do it. It doesn't talk about the sun running to their resting place. It doesn't talk about how the sun uh, sets in murky springs. Or um, or that or it doesn't it doesn't talk about the sun um, and moon swimming in orbits and 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 can be drowned and travel in vessels similar to their offspring Noah, like it says in Quran 36 verse 40 through 43 verse yeah 30, yeah verse yeah, chapter I mean sort of 36 verse 40 through 43 all yeah it doesn't talk about the the uh, the, the sky being a well-guarded canopy to uh, uh, shoot missiles at you to try to uh, get out into the zones of the earth, uh, to leave the zones of the earth. It's just taking the Quranic scriptures that talk about confirmation and remind you. And I will read them to you right now. Okay. Alright, I will start here. The Quran itself claims to be a continuation of the Jewish and Christian scriptures. If you don't believe me, see Surah 2, verse, one, verse 136 of the Clear Science Handed Down, which is the, the Quran. However, this presents a problem. The Quran contradicts the Bible in history and theology at just about every point. Muslims can't say that the Bible has been corrupted after Muhammad because of the enormous weight of evidence, like the, such as the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, man, manuscripts, etc. Thus, modern Muslims, modern Muslims, must claim that the Bible has been corrupted by the Jews and Christians before Muhammad. This, what I'm about to read to you, deals with how the Quran views. Scripture. Okay. The Qurans view the Bible. Contrary to the claims of modern Muslims, the Quran actually affirms the accurate transmission of the Bible, such as that it has, you know, it actually, actually, yeah, it affirms the accurate transmission of the Bible, that it hasn't been corrupted. In the Quran, Muhammad constantly appeals for his followers to ask the Christians and Jews if what he preaches is in the Jewish and Christian scriptures. After each quote, I will make comments to get the point across. Unless stated otherwise, all Quran quotes are from Pictou's translation. He's going to use the translation from Pictou here. Okay. Okay, now this is from Surah 2, verse 43. Uh, this is Surah 2, verse 42. 2, verse 42, from the clear signs handed down. That is the Quran. It says this. And believe in what, in that which, which I reveal, confirming that which you possess already of the scripture. Already. Confirming that which you possess already. That's present tense of the scripture. And be not verse to disbelieve therein and part, and part not with my revelations for a trifling price and keep your duty unto me ok now how can Allah say that Muhammad's preaching confirms that quote which he possess already if that which he possess already has been corrupted 
this passage from the Quran only makes sense if the scriptures, the Bible, has not been corrupted. Now, Surah 2, verse 89, from the Clear Science handed down, uh, says this, And when there cometh unto them a scripture from Allah, confirming that in their possession, though before that they were asking for a signal triumph over those who disbelieved, and when they and when there cometh unto them that which they know to be the truth, they disbelieve therein. I wonder why. <laughs> the curse of Allah is on disbelievers. Here, the Quran is supposed to be the Quran is supposed to be a revelation from Allah which confirms that the Bible, which is already in their Jews and Christians possession, this verse makes no sense if one tried to say that the Bible had been corrupted. You know, how can it not? You know, how can it? Now this is Surah 2, verse 91 from the Clear Science Handed Down. says this, And when it is said unto them, Believe in that which Allah has hath revealed, they say, We believe in that which was revealed unto us, and they disbelieve in what in that which cometh after it in the Quran. Though it is the truth confirming that which they possess, present tense, say unto them, O Muhammad, why then slew ye the prophets of Allah aforetime, if ye are indeed believers? Again, there's confirmation here. Why, if the Bible is corrupted? Now this is... Uh, Surah 2, verse 97, from the clear signs handed down, the Quran says this, Say, O Muhammad to mankind, who is an enemy of Gabriel? For, it, for he it is who hath revealed this scripture to the heart by Allah's lead, confirming that which was revealed before it, and the guidance and the glad tidings to believers. There you go, confirmation again. Surah 2, it's chapter 2, verse 101, from the clear signs handed down, the Quran says this, And when there cometh unto them a messenger from Allah, confirming that which they possess, a party of those who, we, who have received the scripture, fling the scripture of Allah behind their backs as if they knew not. In other words, it's not the Bible's fault, it's the Jews and Christians. Because say, again, Muhammad appeals to the scriptures, which the Jews and Christians already possess. In the last sentence, Muhammad is not arguing that the scriptures have been tampered with, but rather, he is saying that the Jews and Christians deny or hide the true meaning of what is in the scriptures, in other words, which is in the Bible. Now, this is Surah 3, verse 81, from the clear signs handed down, the, Bible, uh, the Quran says this, When Allah made his covenant with the prophets, he said, Behold that which I have given you of the scripture and knowledge, and afterward there will come unto you a messenger, confirming that which ye possess. Present tense. Ye shall believe in him, and ye shall help him. He said, Do you agree? And ye take up my burden, which I lay upon you in this matter? They answered, We agree. He said, and bear wit ye witness, I will be a witness with you. Uh, one translation, uh, that is Arbery, says, uh, confirming what is with you, Muhammad was appealing to that which the, Christ that which the Jews and cur Christians currently possessed. Now this is Surah 4, verse 47, from the, cur from the clear signs handed down. The Quran says this, O ye unto whom the scripture hath been revealed, believe in what we have revealed, confirming that which ye possess before we destroy countenances, in other words, your faces, so as to confound, confound them or curse them as we cursed the Sabbath breakers of old. In other words, when Allah transformed Jews for fishing on the Sabbath into apes and pigs. I mean, really, it's taught that in the masjid, in, in mosques, that all the transform them, and that's why we have apes and pigs because uh, 
I'll transform the Jews into apes and pigs. The commandment of Allah is always executed. Again, Muhammad was appealing to that which the Jews and Christians currently possessed. Now, according to Surah 5, verse 47, oh, you know, I've got to quit here. I've got to quit here. I'm running out of time. Bye.